everybody. Welcome to Allergies Bites. But tastes good. Uh, today we're going to be making cashew cream cheese. It's made with cashews, so if you're allergic to dairy, this is perfect. Can you stop staring allergic. at me? You're freaking me out. <laughs> what? But I'm allergic to cashews, so... So we can make it with uh, pumpkin seeds as well. I've done that. It tastes really, really good. But the thing is, is we've done everything with pumpkin seeds. We wanted to have it changed up a little bit. So we've got cashew. Uh, cashews that have been soaked. You just don't want to make something for me. You've got enough. <laughs> we've got cashews that have been soaked overnight. And they're rinsed and they're drained. And they're ready to go now. So we'll so get a chance to make it. So how long do you rinse them for? You just rinse you them. Just put them in the sink and give them a bath. Well, or? in a colander, and then you you put them in a colander. You rinse them and then you put them in here. Okay. Don't You've you got this. Soap? That's before. Before you rinse them. Yes. Okay. okay. Well, one cup of cashews. Okay. So then you want one and a half tablespoons lemon juice. Okay. You have to shake it. Have to shake it? Yes. Okay. There Done. You go. <laughs> okay. Don't want that in my tea. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. You made me laugh. Okay. A table a teaspoon of apple cider vinegar. Can this go any faster? Pasha. Half a teaspoon of salt. What? I use gray salt just because I just like gray salt. Does it have to be exact? The well, ingredients. pretty close would be nice. Pretty close? <laughs> Over dumping and stuff. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, gray salt is what I use. You can use Himalayan salt. Uh, they're the best two that I know of. It depends on what you prefer. What is wrong with you today? Okay. I got a joke. Oh, another one. <laughs> Tablespoon of... This is... Look, I don't have very many jokes. I don't come up with them very often. This is a tablespoon. <laughs> a tablespoon of swerve. You can use monk. You can use whatever you like. We like using swerve. Um, you can buy it at Superstore. They carry it now. It makes it a little bit cheaper. Notice how she's avoiding my joke. <laughs> what's your I joke? Won't, I won't botch it like last time. Okay, what's your joke? Not sure. <laughs> okay. What did the bull have to check before going on a date with the sieve? <laughs> <laughs> what did the bull? The bull, not the, the bull. <laughs> not the bull. <laughs> No. <laughs> okay, what did the bowl? The bowl. Bowl. <laughs> what did the bowl have to check before going on a date with the sieve? I don't know. What? He had to check his colander. Ah, you're lame. Okay, what are you doing? Okay. I don't know. You gave me this and didn't give me anything. Okay, a tablespoon and a half of nutritional yeast. Oh, boy. And I didn't botch it this time. <sighs> a teaspoon of vanilla. You can use, um, and you actually should use, if you can, use pure vanilla. I'm allergic to vanilla, so we always use artificial. And two tablespoons of uh, this is pumpkin seed milk. The jug was too, was too empty anyways. So. so that's all we have? Yeah, that's all we got left. Okay, so two tablespoons of pumpkin seed milk. You can use uh, almond milk, cashew milk, just put it in the thing. Two, ta two, 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 two tablespoons. Two, two tablespoons. And uh, I can pour a lot better with my left hand than my right hand. That's good. So it's... I can pour a lot more too. Whatever type of um, nut you want to use or seed, 
and whatever type of, type of nut milk or seed milk that you want to use. Gore! Okay. Almost didn't make it into the sink. Yeah. And then we want to put it on here and you have to... I have to turn. Turn? So what we're going to do is we're going to start it on... It's easy. We're going to start it on low first. So just... I just want to check it, make sure that it's... Mixing up. Okay, so this is... I always hold it too low. Yeah. That's the start of your cheese. What your cheese looks like. Will you get your mug out of there? <laughs> Just give it a couple of stirs. Uh, it's nice not to have like hard clumps in it. So if you just, if you feel it, you can feel that there's still chunks in it. <laughs> yeah, okay. You were disturbing. What? <laughs> You're one of those guys that would, would go and work in a bakery. Yeah. And if you get something, like you're trying to get something off your fingers or you're trying to get something off a spatula, that would go all the way around and leave like a whole ring of refuge food all the way around it. I can just What's see wrong with that? It. I can just see it. Because you're the kind of person that used to drive me nuts. I'd have to go and clean up after them all the time. What? This is refuge all the way around. Okay, start it up again. <laughs> Uh, I think we'll do it on medium this time. See then if what? we can get it to its smoothest state. That looks a lot smoother. Yeah. Trust us, it does. Give me a minute. So you saw what it looked like the first time. And now it looks... You can see it. It looks really smooth. <laughs> uh, when you make it the first day, it's kind of... It can be kind of gummy tasting, so you put it in a, in like a, a gummy bear. No, you Not put it a in, a, in a sealed container in the fridge. Sealed right container in the fridge. And uh, the next day, it's way nicer. Mm. Did you want to stick your finger in it? <laughs> no, you good. trust me. No, I'm, I'm good. Okay. So you're done. We're done. Oh! We're done! That's it. That's out, folks! Yeah, it's good. Okay. So now what? What? Well, do you leave it in the container? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I realize you don't listen to me. You take it, put it in a container with a lid, and put it in the fridge! I know! Put an airtight container. Do you guys want to see that? No, you're going to cut this piece out. We're going to cut this piece out? We're going to cut you out? Okay. okay. So we happen to have a container here. Oh, okay. And just put it in here. You can, um, that's kind of a big container. It's kind of a very big container, but that'll... Where are you going? Oh, but it'll work. Hold it. Hold the bowl! And uh, you can use this like, if you're having lamb chops or something. Put it down, please. If you're having... I'm helping! No, you're not! If you have lamb chops or you have roast or something, you can put 
And like a dab of this on top really adds to the flavor of the meat. Uh, what else have we done with this? We've put it um, on uh, gluten-free, dairy-free, egg-free, soy-free bread. Psyllium buns. You know, with... Uh, you've put cheese on top. Uh, this is cheese. Jam on top of it too, haven't you? Uh, maybe, I don't know. Yeah. So you can do all that. It makes approximately about a cup. Ooh. And that's why we took a what, five cup jar. Hey, you picked the bowl. Put it in. Okay, done. You pick the bowl. And then I'll just stick this in the fridge and then later I can always transfer it over or do whatever. Done. Awesome. Good. So, oh. <laughs> so see you later. And I hope you enjoy it. Yes. And join us again next week for who knows what. <laughs> <laughs> You'll never know what we'll make next. And what, what we will make a dance with. Next. Okay, bye. Bye. <laughs>